we don't want to keep waiting and wait for more people so i think let's do it so hi everyone i am deep i am the regional manager for south asia at angel hack uh, and then we are here to talk about the covid 19 game -athon with uh, the president of heart hyderabad abhishek so i'll share my screen real quick and then we'll go through a quick presentation on uh, uh, presentation on the on the game -athon. so just a moment So there we go. Uh, welcome, welcome everyone. I'm so excited to see everyone's energy, and then you know it's a really it's really nice to know that uh, we are spending your what Sunday evening on learning something new, creating something new, which is a really good sign of uh, innovative people that you are. So yeah, we're talking about COVID gameathon. We've been really excited to uh, do this webinar because the cause of doing this is you know really a nice noble cause and. We all are really you know, looking forward to see the solutions and uh, uh, innovations that come through this. So this is a pre-game webinar. There's one more webinar that we'll do on 12th, which is the opening ceremony. And uh, 12th is the date when we'll start. So we'll start, we'll start with the coding of the solutions that you, will, you guys will want to build. Uh, so today's agenda is to talk about the sponsors, uh, go through the basics of what the game -a -thon is and how it came about uh what are the challenges that we are facing due to game due to covid plus what are the challenges that challenges that we are going to try to solve during this game -a -thon? what are the rules and schedules the most important part and the prizes which is uh of course something that you are excited about so about the organizers i let uh abhishek the president of hard hyderabad speak about who the organizers are and how the whole idea of Gameathon came to be. So go ahead, Abhishek. It, thanks a lot, uh, Deep. And I want to wholeheartedly thank all of you for joining today. I think first I want to say that or congratulate you for being here and making a difference, right? So we, we know this is the biggest thing which has hit our world, our country, I, I, I think since we are born. Uh, nobody has heard anything like this and through this you are definitely going to make a difference to it right and and i, I want to congratulate you irrespective of the outcome of the hackathon and stuff like that you you have made an attempt to make a difference so this idea uh, uh, so i i come from an organization called heart so heart in an organization which is uh, affiliated to us uh, consulate and and specifically to us consulate hyderabad and we are some passionate uh, individuals uh, who who had gone for various programs with us consulate hyderabad and one day we sat down like you guys enthusiastic guys and we thought, what, what can we do really uh, about this COVID and it is hitting so many people and we have so many brains in India, should we do anything? Then we thought that I think uh, there are many ways, there are serious ways to do it and a lot of people are doing right. I, th I think our country as a whole is doing great and our youngsters as a whole is, are doing great. So can, can we think about something fun way to do it? Why not use games, right, which everybody loves, which everybody plays? to make a difference uh, to COVID, right? So once we have less number of cases, what we have new normal, people, how, how do we make sure that people, people align with the new normal, they don't let it grow anymore. So that idea, we, we took it to uh, US consulate and, and they, uh, uh, they extensively evaluated it and, and they definitely liked it. And they said, yeah, this is a great idea. Why don't you go and do it? We'll, we'll be happy to fund you and also back you in this initiative. So we said, yes, thank you. So Hart, uh, then we also collaborated with uh, St. Francis uh, College of Women, right? So that, that's a premier college uh, of in, in uh, Hyderabad. And, and they also bring a lot of uh, intellectual uh, knowledge and a lot of students who are interested in technology and all. So we collaborated with them. We also collaborated with Angel Hacks 
right and and this idea idea came together and and for we have been working on it for last 2 3 months and now we we see that this is really starting so now it is up to you guys to see what kind of ideas that you can bring in what kind of games that you can uh, uh bring in right and 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 make it a success so uh, this is a very unique hackathon uh, i i'll i'll probably add on to it once uh, uh, deep uh, uh, is giving ideas about it so very unique from what others are doing right so it will it will go beyond just developing ideas so we wait to hear for that so for now i'll i'll leave it on to uh, deep uh, to introduce the concept of hackathon what are the rules and regulations what part do you play right and what, what do you get in return if if you come up with a great idea right all all those things so over to you deep and and thanks again thanks all uh, for participating Thanks everyone. Thanks Abhishek. Uh, that's a great, a great introduction on how this came to be. And uh, we are really honored. Angel Act is really honored to partner with you know uh, US Consulate, Hard Hard Hyderabad, uh, Saint Francis College for Women. Uh, uh, you guys are amazing. Uh, so for those who do not know. Uh, what angel act is uh, i'll just give a quick introduction so angel act is a hackathon organizer we organize really cool hackathons like this one so uh, if you are new to the concept if you are new to angel act will to do you uh, know not now later go to angelact.com and see and you know where you can participate and uh, learn meet new people and earn prizes so yeah that's the quick intro of angel act and uh, moving on to what is the gameathon so for those who already registered has a little bit of idea on what we are planning to do but just to reiterate to make sure that everyone is on the same page we are doing this one month long virtual gameathon to you know bring together you know really innovative and good minds like yourself uh, who either are game developers or like to innovate stuff or are enthusiast who wants to learn and and, and develop games and basically solve the challenges that you know we all are facing the globe is facing due to due to covid-19 so this whole one month long long journey is basically to you know uh, is prepared to test your creativity for you to be able to team up with either people who you already know or with uh, you know uh, or with strangers or either people you don't know who will maybe probably possibly become your uh project partners and you know uh who knows maybe you start a startup from there and you become co-founders so yeah this is the whole idea that you meet new people you connect with new people you test your creativity uh meet industry experts who have been there and done that and created a lots of games uh, uh to give an example we have a judge who who owns a game studio and has a game has published a game that has has more than i guess 5 million downloads so you'll meet this kind of people you'll interact with this kind of people uh collaborate with like minded peers and then the most important part is you'll build real world solutions so you'll build games that will actually go publicly launch uh and will affect positively to people who are facing in fact everyone is facing you know problems due to covid but then it will be a real world solution real time used by people uh, which is something also abhishek will again you know talk about that how we plan to uh, bring your project or an mvp to reality so that's that's the plan uh, we are really excited so let's 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 take a few minutes to you know face the problems you know understand the problems that everyone is facing you all know you have seen a lot of this facts you know on newspapers and internet um, but again to uh emphasize the problems that we are facing uh there's more than 10.5 10. 10.5 million covid-19 cases in india and more than 150000 deaths which is a shocking and very sad fact but you know uh knowing this fact it gives us a more you know a good a good amount of uh reason to build something that fights this and to you know decreases this kind of stats so there is more than 45% of households who have reported that they had an income drop and while while i'm talking about this problem this is not just to give you facts but also to explain that besides behind this facts there lies a possibility to build in a, and innovate something so if you say that there's you know there's a report of income drop in 45% households i believe that you should be able to find a gap of innovation that could uh fight this problem right 
the Indian economy was expected to lose over 32,000 crores every day during the 20, first 21 days of lockdown. And then one more fact, uh, which is 43% of, of Indians felt stressed, is a really good problem statement that you can work on to create a game that decreases the, the stress amongst the Indians or among anyone who's using or playing your game basically so these are kind of the problems that we are facing the challenges that we are planning or uh, challenge or problem statements that we have identified for you to work on are these four problem statements or challenges for one it's raising awareness so i just went through this facts and i assure that this is really correct and i've uh, double checked on where i'm getting these facts from but if you go on internet you will find uh you know the internet is full of um uh, information that might or you know may not be true so raising awareness is is a way of combating misinformation false information so that uh, you know uh, the knowledge or the information that is shared online is really uh, coming from a, a a a reliable source it could be scientists or doctors or researchers that it's coming from it's not from uh, someone who is just spreading false you know uh, false information so that is one problem statement that really needs to be worked upon that you can ideate upon with your uh, team that you will create uh, in the coming days. The second one would be the prevention measures. So how to prevent, uh, you know, how to how to prevent Corona? That's one of how to prevent COVID. That's one of the challenges that you can work upon. You can see what are the different uh, uh, you know, measures that you can take. Uh, what are the ideas that you can come up with to prevent uh, you know, the spreading of Corona or COVID. Uh, frontline scenarios. So we all know how hard and uh, at a risk the frontline workers are you know, uh, walking day and night to save us. One of my friends is a doctor and I'm seeing firsthand how hard, uh, you know, he has to work and how at risk he has to work to save the patients that he's working with. So, uh, you know, uh, making a, a solution to help frontline workers uh, to understand or decrease the harshness and difficulty that they are facing while working would be a really nice solution to, uh, to the frontline workers. Uh, spread and control. So there's uh one of these ideas in spread and control would be to build something that visualizes the spread uh and uh, which would then ultimately help us understand that how it could be controlled uh, using this visualization using uh could be different um let's say uh ai using ai you can find out how to control given that this is how it is spreading so these are some of the challenges. You can also read about these challenges in detail on the on the COVID Gameathon website. Now, uh, feel free to okay. So uh, just just to drop this fact in, feel free to ask any questions in the Q and A in Zoom, or if you are on YouTube, feel free to do that too uh, on YouTube uh, live chat. I am getting questions. I'll read your questions and answer the questions by the end of this presentation. But I'll make sure I answer them. Uh, so these are some of the basic rules that uh, we all are going to follow to make sure that everyone is on the same page. No one is getting an edge. Um, and this is basically, you know, how it works. Uh, so one of the uh, things is that um, participants who are aiming to participate in this one must be 18 years or older and must be citizens of India and residing in India currently. If you are not uh in this criteria uh please do let us know on uh on our slack or or email um but uh this is one of the strict uh strict rules that uh, we would like you to follow uh the individuals must have signed or agreed to the participation agreement that we have uh already uploaded on the website and if you have gone through the type form there was already a question so if you have gone through the try a type form where you have uh, filled out all your details you have already agreed to the particip participation agreement which is good uh, the teams that are yet to be built or if you have already built a team that's good uh, that's that's uh, okay too but uh, the teams are to be of three to five participants uh, no more no less uh, to make sure that you know uh, everyone is on the on the same uh, scenario so 
the development should not begin until we officially until the competition officially starts which it will start on 12th of february up to five days from now at uh, 12 pm we will have uh, another webinar and an opening ceremony at that on, on that day but before that uh, we really insist we that you do not start developing the game because there will be lots of participants who will create uh, or who will build a team before or by then and then we would like for everyone to have the same timeline for building the uh, building the whole project so please do not start development before that uh, the winning team will be subject to a code review at some point uh, while or probably uh, after the event ends or as in after the coding time ends uh before you win uh so yeah that's you know that's that standard you all probably understand that uh the next thing i want to touch upon is the timeline and this is how it looks like so today is the 7th of february uh and this is the pre game webinar day one the day when everything starts would be the 12th of february five days from now what we'll have on that day is the opening ceremony. We have some really nice guests for you. So if you have joined this, does not mean, you know, I, I would really insist you to again join that webinar because there's lots of new stuff that we'll talk about uh, on that day. Plus we have really some really nice reputed guests that you do not want to miss out on listening to. So we'll have the opening ceremony at 10 a.m. on 12th of February, we'll do a team huddle where we'll, so if you already have a team, that's good. If not, what we'll do is we'll have an activity where we'll uh, match people with complementary skills. We'll ask you to introduce yourself. We'll ask other people to contact you if they want to join your team or build a team with you. So there will be this activity where you will build your team at 11 a.m. on 12th February, and then onwards, uh, 12 p.m., the coding begins and you start developing your game from day one, which is 12th of February. Day two to day 29 is going to be a lot of fun if you wanna learn new stuff, if you wanna meet new people. So it will be, there'll be tons of webinars, expert interactions, AMAs, uh, workshops, where people, uh, industry experts will teach you on game development, will answer your questions, will also have mentors for you, uh, for each of your teams uh, to reply or to answer, you know, or solve the hurdles that you will be facing while you are building your games. So that's going to be good. Uh, day 38 would be the 12th of March, which is the submission deadline. It's the last day when you can, you know, submit your submit your uh, project. And then the next six days will be kind of judging and we'll have uh, top 10 announcements and then top 10 winners from these all of you, all of these teams that we have. Uh, on the 18th of March, we'll have a public demo day where they will present their game to the judges and to the panelists. And then that will be the day when we'll decide who wins and who takes the prizes. So talking about prizes, there we go. Um, so what we have here is uh, there will be three different categories one is the first rank second rank and third rank first rank gets uh, prizes up to 1 lakh indian rupees worth up to 1 lakh indian rupees uh, second rank gets prizes worth up to 75000 indian rupees and third one gets uh, prizes up to 50000 indian rupees and then there is one more i'm sorry um award that we uh that which is hard choice award which i would like abhishek to talk more about he he's you know they are really passionate about this specific award and uh, uh you'll know why you'll know why go ahead abhishek sure so uh, i i i told this is a unique uh, uh game -a right and we, we might have participated in different game -athons, but this we have designed it very very uh, uh unique so what one thing is that I think uh, U.S. Consulate Hyderabad and Heart as a group, we want to promote women in STEM, right? We want to see more and more women or diverse uh, population getting representation in the field of technology and I, I, I mean high tech technology, right? So if if we see diverse teams, women centric teams coming up with great products, so they will be recognized as part of this initiative, right? So that is one very, very important and different points of good games will definitely be recognized, right? I think we have three awards. 
So apart from that, we wanted to encourage uh, di team diversity. So, uh, so I, I highly encourage uh, uh, folks to have uh, good women developers in their team or, or fully women developers uh, uh, teams, right? So, and, and, and those products will also be separately looked at, evaluated and, and recognized uh, the best among them, right? So that, that is one unique aspect of this, right? And, but I wanted to highlight one very, very important uh, uh, point, which is, which makes this uh, Gimathon very, very unique and, and, and different than what you would have seen in any hackathons you would have participated earlier. So this uh, hackathon, so most of the hackathons stop at let's say once sponsored by uh, conducted by Amazon or Microsoft, they stop at this. You give ideas, uh, people evaluate it, and then you get prizes. Uh, that's where it stops, right? And and so we we never know what, what does have what happens to the great ideas and all. So our uh, mandate here is that okay, not to stop there. So bringing something uh, tangible out of this uh, hackathon. So the winners, right, uh, uh, as part of this will be uh, were obligated to take the ideas to completion, right? I, I think take these games uh, to completion and for which, uh, for which we will be providing you additional funding and that too substantial funding. One part is funding, another part is technical expertise, the mentors that we'll be working with. So they will be working it with you guys so that we can come out with those games and actually publish those games uh, uh, in the in the uh, in in the various app stores right which are available and and we we don't want to let's say the the whole uh, intellectual property of the games and in pos if the games become too popular and in there are revenues occurring out of it that is all yours we don't want to do anything so only only thing probably is that okay it has we have collaborated with you that's that that should maximum come we, we don't want anything more than that so this uh, hackathon go on, goes beyond this prices goes beyond this uh, one month activity and we will we would want you guys to take this ideas to completion and actually get it uh, uploaded in the uh, this thing and for which we will support you both technically and and financially right so that is that is one very very unique aspect of this uh, gameathon uh, over to you deep awesome thank you abhishek so yeah this is a really important point that it doesn't end when you create an mvp actually that's when it start because that's why uh, uh, we are doing this to make sure that we come up with a real real time solution and then really help people not just you know ideate on helping people really build something that helps people and then go out spread awareness and uh, you know uh, ask more and more people to join and you know, uh, uh, support the cause by uh, using the game that you will be developing so that's that's one of the you know nicest thing about this this one so yeah so what do you submit this is uh, a question that we would get um so there's multiple things one is um project name and description of course uh you talk a bit about uh uh, in a few sentences that uh, what your project is about uh, code repository plus demo so you submit the code that you have developed and this again is you are going to do by the end of the game -a so uh, just keep a note of this you don't need to submit anything now of course so code mm -hmm. repository and a demo if a working demo then great if you can also submit a video of yourself going through the demo explaining how it works great uh, and then there should also be a thesis or a synopsis of how how why you are building that idea what's what's the you know what's the problem that you're solving how it will solve the problem how it will affect people what's the you know outcome of it which is kind of the thesis or synopsis that you can build around your project which would help uh, the judges and the organizers to understand your mindset around it to uh, get a better idea of you know how uh, how you are how you are connected with the solution so this are a few things uh, submission link will be uh, shared with you on slack and uh, if you haven't yet received the slack invitation email by any chance because we already sent it to everyone and anyone who signs up through typhoon does get it but in by any chance you haven't received it you can email me at deep at angelhack.com uh, and by the way, if you haven't yet registered for the event and you are still just, you know, participating in the webinar, which is good, uh, feel free to go to covidgameathon.com and uh, register yourself. You'll get an invitation to the Slack group 
and uh, yeah, we can get started. So uh, this is the judging criteria. Um, these are four criteria that we we are trying to we are going to try to cover, which is the quality of idea. Is it you know how you came up with the idea? How original idea uh, uh, is it? Uh, how you so second one is implementation. So how you have actually executed on the idea? You say that you want to build this, but how good of a product that you have built? Uh, how valuable would it be your, to your target audience? So you know more the positive response, you know, higher um, uh, affection uh, it has, you know, uh, to, to your target audience, more people would be positively affected through it, uh, higher the score. Uh, and then how good of a thesis or synopsis or, you know, your ideation is uh, with the, you know, with, with your submission. So these are four judging criteria that will, uh, uh, the judges, not us, the judges will use uh, while, they are, while they are judging or, you know, uh, grading your project. And that's kind of it for the presentation, but I'm sure we have tons of questions. Uh, yeah, I see a tons of questions. So let's get them answering. If you have if you have a question and you are not yet posted uh, them on Zoom or YouTube, please feel free to do so. But I think we do have tons of questions, which is a good thing. Uh, Abhishek, do you want to add any, anything else before I start with the question answers? Uh, no, so I, I, I think looking forward to the presentation, and I think it's a unique thing. So we'll need a collaborative uh, teams, right? And, and enthusiastic teams to take it forward, right? So we'll, we'll be, and, and I'm really excited to see so many questions. Uh, I, I think which means the level of excitement is also high on your side and we'll, we'll try our best to answer uh, them. True, true, good point. So, yeah. So one question from Zoom is that, do I start coding only on February 12th? Um, Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, please do start coding on February 12th, uh, which is the ideal and the maybe the only condition. Uh, can I learn game development from this hackathon and this part uh, and then participate? So uh, definitely, if you uh, are new to game development, you are definitely welcome to join and uh, uh, learn. So in fact, we do have speakers coming up who will teach how to get started and who will also teach how to build a game in a short period of time because of course building games takes a lot of time uh one month is uh could be a small period of time that you have to make a game in so we'll have speakers who will talk about uh the uh this topics in these areas so feel free to join and i insist you to join because you'll definitely leave um having learned something and having developed something which is really great for you can uh, I, and can us I as well to see can i add deep, sure. can I add deep? Sure. yeah uh, so I, I, I think some of you obviously were are new to them right so I, i'll request them to form or i i think deep will help form a diverse team where you can actually bring some of your skills and in the, in the process you will you will learn game development for sure and obviously we are helping you with workshop and any other mentors and all will will take you through that process True. Yeah, that's a really good point. So we will uh, will definitely help you find a team, build a team where it's it's complementing the skills that you have. So even if say you are not a specifically a game developer, but you are a graphic designer or a motion designer, we can definitely hook you up with someone who is just a backend developer or something like that, so that you guys can make a good team. We will definitely help you with that. You are also uh, you know insisted to introduce yourself in the slack channel where where you know the intro or need a team slack channel where you introduce yourself and then people who are looking for someone like yourself will reach out to you and then you can create a team we'll also have a google sheet will have you fill out the team details and what kind of skills you're looking for um so we have all of these activities coming up but a really good point by abhishek that uh it would be a good idea to find someone who is complementing your skills. So if you are new, find someone who is experienced. If you are a designer, find someone who is a developer, that kind of stuff. So, yeah. And then, of course, uh, when diverse team will also include that uh, 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 heart and uh, we are uh, appreciating teams that has, you know, uh, that has women participants in it. Um, so the next question is, can it be a simple game like Flappy Bird or does it have to be complicated like PUBG or COD? It does not have to be complicated at all. Uh, it's all on you. It's more about the uh, the how it will affect people and how it will solve the problems that we are discussing about. So it could be a single page game. It could be a multiplayer game. It could be a single player game. It could be anything, iOS, Android, what have you. 
right uh, am i correct abhishek you have you want to add anything? yeah 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 so so that that's that's a very good question right uh, so the focus uh, uh, from our side is not the what the nuts and bolts you have uh, put in the game it is on what is the problem you are trying to solve solve and actually that is solving the problem right so that is that is what we uh, always mistake right we just develop something and that may not be useful so if your idea your game is solving a good problem relative to covid and that's very interesting and new then then your you you will uh, this thing so you can develop something complicated if it that solution requires complicated or you can do do something simple and that that's also welcome right so uh, it it is a open channel challenge in terms of the ideas perfect perfect okay next question is will this presentation be available for us and also the video uh, yes for sure uh, for those who have already signed up or you know been a part of this uh, webinar will be emailed and we'll also send this on slack so yeah you'll get this and i'll take this as a compliment this that this is a nice presentation thank you a uh, question from youtube is that does it have to be an android based game or ios based game uh, or it can be any form of game it can be any form of game uh why can't i participate just, as just an individual add, uh, just to add i i, I think we are possibly uh, we will limit ourselves to mobile games uh, we are not probably targeting console games because the adoption see the whole idea is that larger number of people should be able to use it right and and the uh, reach in terms of console games and all may not be that great in india so uh, i i think any form of mobile games will be good good point yeah yeah any form of mobile game ios and android is um so why can't i participate as an individual angel hack hackathons always have one to five people team right okay uh, uh abhishek do you want to add to this uh, why we yeah. have so, uh, so, chose to have yeah yeah so, good yeah so multiple reasons right i think uh, 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 we uh, this is this uh, is a one month window is a small window and we wanted and and the games are for covid and which is a complex problem to solve right so we want minds to come together and and complementary skills to come together to come out with something right and and we have been obviously covid has put us socially isolated so it is fun to work in teams rather than alone so we have obligated uh, that i think the team should be there working in this and the team should be either three uh, members minimum and five members uh, uh, maximum right and and if you have teams good i i think you can form it and if you think you don't have teams and probably you are looking for some complementary skills and all i i think angel hacks and we will help you to build your team right so that that is something we can help you with perfect okay makes sense so next question is does the restriction of location apply for mentors too because i'm temporarily in london at the moment i'll be coming to india next month or so is that fine i think they should be fine for a mentor to be in london temporarily um where do i see the mentors information is it on the website so yeah good question uh, you'll see the judges information on the website the mentors information is uh, going to be updated by tomorrow so you'll be able to see that on the website you'll also see what is the topic that they are going to talk about and you know how they are going to help you what are their uh, areas of expertise so that you know who to reach out to we'll also introduce mentors in the slack channel so that you so so that you can directly message them on slack so you'll get all the information from slack as well as website next question what else do we have so question on zoom is that where does this game athon take place uh, i mean should it should we do it in our homes and submit it or should we go to some specific specified place good question there is no specified place it's all virtual uh, all the communication is through slack uh, you have any questions you can message us on slack you will see lots of activities going on slack you have any questions you email us, us on slack you create the teams on slack the webinars the engagements are online on zoom so there is no location everything is online building is online submitting is online no location uh, hope that makes sense if you have any follow any follow up question on this feel free to ask um do we have to make games for mobile platform only so yeah abhishek answered this mobile only but uh, iOS android anything is fine uh, do we have to make games on mobile platform only okay same question same question okay i like the program but i didn't know game development so if you don't know game development feel free to as i as we suggested uh, try to build a team or try to get into a team of someone who knows game development who can kind of um, help you understand things and then you can help with the skills that you bring in 
so yeah it's okay to uh, not know game development and still participate in this are multiplayer games allowed yeah of course uh what is the thesis and synopsis so thesis is basically so how you came up with the idea what is the idea what is the problem that you are facing what is the solution that you have developed to overcome this problem uh how is it going to affect people so this kind of idea is behind the game that you have developed uh would collectively build a document of you know the thesis or the uh, or the synopsis but i think abhishek would have some more uh, to talk about this do you abhishek or was it good no no i i'm good with what you uh, said right I, I, okay. I, I, uh, yeah yeah so it's basically you know uh, your your thought process on why you are building this particular game and why you think it should uh, it would affect people positively and how you know how how would you think that it you know uh, would solve the problems that we are facing basically can we use an engine ue4 vs unity for sure you can use any engines any game development tools technologies platform that you think would be helpful just please try to not use something that is uh, that gives a, gives an edge to you which is kind of unfair i don't think there is there exists anything like this uh, but uh, if you know that it, it's unfair to use it don't use it uh, but of course there will just technologies platforms that are really well known and are helping uh, you to game you know develop the game of course please do that i have the knowledge of java programming but no idea of graphic designing at all how will we collaborate with each other good question so whoever question ask this question uh you can pose the same question on slack and i'm sure there will be people who would be looking for java program developers and are graphic designers so they will message you saying that okay i'm a graphic designer you are java developer let's create a team and boom there we go you also basically use slack to do this we'll also have an activity on the 12th where we'll do this kind of live and then you'll find a good team but uh, the only idea or suggestion here is to be you know uh, keep communicating about this on slack uh, keep checking the slack messages for people who are looking for java programmers uh, or there'll be someone else who will be introducing them as graphic designers so you can say okay let's make a team so yeah you'll find your ways if you are active on slack if not feel free to message us youtube uh, can i recommend a mentor or a speaker that can add more value to this game with on if yes what do i who do i reach out to you reach out to me uh, thanks a lot for doing this uh, you can reach out to me on slack you will find if you do at angel hack you will find uh, my name deep or either you can also email me at deep at angel hack whatever oh so you see my email id here you can email me here whatever works for you but uh, yeah thanks you would appreciate it uh what are the prices exactly are they cash or something else website says what uh, i'll let abhishek talk about uh, the prices yeah uh, so uh, uh, we are uh, uh, see i think uh, the prices will be very interesting right uh, so it uh, we, we we have not exactly uh, know that but uh, it is something uh, which will be of value right I, i i think it can be cash or it can be some goods of that value it will be up to uh, 1 lakh rupees right so it will be substantial prices so we are working with the sponsors uh, to finalize uh, uh, those price but it will be substantial prices uh, that i can guarantee you and uh, which will be with and we and the best part is the uh, it will directly come from the sponsors to you right uh, 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 they will be directly handing it over to you so it it, it will be something good so don't worry about the prices and as i said right it is it is also beyond the prices so we have those uh, uh, 1 lakh rupees and 80000 and no 50000 and all right so it it is beyond that because we have substantial amount of money earmarked for funding the uh, games right and once uh, once you have the ideas at the uh, mvp level and all to take it to completion so that seed money also will be given or or the uh, support will be given to you uh, right so so it is it is beyond that so i i i think from an carrot of this exercise perspective it is multifold so i i am sure you'll enjoy that awesome so apart from the prizes so including on adding on top of the prizes is also support from the organizers and uh, also the seed money to kind of build the game fully fledged game uh, from the mvp and launch it so that's going to be great 
um do we need to submit a, so first of all you know thanks a lot everyone for asking this questions you guys are amazing i am loving the questions every question is making a lot of sense um so yeah please keep them coming and i'm really glad to i and abhishek are really glad to solve all of your questions so thanks a lot so um do we need to submit a documentation as well uh yes you have to uh which will kind of help us understand your thought process it will really help us you know and it will not only help us understand but it will help you explain uh that how uh, what kind of ideas you had and then how you made the whole thing how you made it possible to understand your journey your thought process which gives you know which puts a lot of weight uh on how you know how uh, how innovative you are so next question is what should the maximum size of the game should okay uh so i don't think we should limit ourselves on any size abhishek do you have any any limitations on that i don't i don't think kind of from our side no, there should no, be any I, I, I think there is no limitation on size per se right but one thing i would which your mentors will also help you once you go along is that what is best suited for your uh, uh, publishing right uh, so that that is that is something you will have to uh, come up with right so you have to optimize it so that it it it, it is not too heavy and and uh, well suited for uh, publishing in all this app stores and all right so that is something we'll have to take care exactly exactly so i i have one more question for you abhishek so someone asked that, sir do we develop a game to be exact by referring game here i mean for example candy crush or ludo to which we have to incorporate our ideas or do we build an app which would help people get through stress or provide them with stats and solutions so how what's the thin line between game and an app in our uh, from our aspect yes so so uh, i i think the whole idea of this is i think a lot of apps are being developed in for covid right one or two i think stress free and all so we wanted to go beyond that we wanted to engage people in some game playing right so as, as somebody gave an example right so can i, uh, I i'll just give a, give an example which is a very bad idea it can be a bad idea as well right so why not uh, let's say somebody develop uh, let's say a ludo game as uh, you pointed out which has got this uh, snake and ladders and you 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 walk down that uh, game and see if you do a wrong behavior with respect to covid uh a snake eats you right and if you are right behavior you go up right so something like that you you uh, get engaged people right it cannot be just uh, i i think gamification so the things that you are talking about uh, well being and stress that is gamification but we want to stress on pure games right something people will play they will have fun and and possibly directly or indirectly get benefited from it right i, I think consciously or subconsciously so we we wanted to go beyond gamification and actually develop games right so that is the mandate here awesome thanks thanks vishak so one more question is can i use unreal engine to make a game sure 100% um what else do we have what is the last date of registration one week after february uh, yeah so what is the last date of registration so we recommend you that you register or you ask your friends or whoever you know whoever is your network to register as early as possible uh, the exact date that will close registrations is basically around uh, say 20th to 22nd of february but we really insist that you do not wait until then uh, because there will be a lot of teams that will already be built uh, there will be a lot of stuff that people have would have already started coding so you'll you know they'll they will have an edge over you because people will start coding on 12th of february if you uh, wait to register until 20th or something or if you wait to invite your friends until 20th or something it will just be uh, you know uh, um give other people ads so register as soon as possible as early as possible and uh, start coding on 12th of february is the best suggestion that uh, i can give hmm, i think this are the questions okay one more question is any team registrations i only saw individual registrations so registrations are individual so if you already have a team say you know you and your four friends are a team you want to build a game with the same team that you have 
you can register as individual and then when we'll spread out a google sheet where you will have to put out your team put in your team details you just you know fill in the details with your and you know, all of your friends uh, so even if you are a team already you register as an individual uh, actually there's already a sheet in this uh, slack channel called need a team so again uh, you have four people register as individuals go to need a team uh, need a team slack channel find the google sheet and uh, fill in the details about the team that you have already built so this is how it will work can we make story based games that sounds like a good idea uh, if you think you have a story based game that will affect and that will help people fight covid then why not yeah okay uh yeah are we seeing any more questions i think these are the questions that i have received any more questions guys let us know um so i think one more question is will we have to check in at a platform or just enter in the sheet i'm sorry so if i got a question correctly you so you so uh, i'm sorry uh, what do you mind to refresh so if if i understood this correctly you mean that do you have to enter your team details in a sheet only is that a question so team details you have to uh, share in the sheet the submissions will be done on a different platform so once you are done coding or once you are done developing your your game that thing you'll have to privately submit on a different platform that we have which we will uh, send a link to once uh you know once once we start coding on know a few weeks uh, coming in so yeah team registrations are on sheet submissions are on a different platform that you will get access to uh, in a, in a, in the in coming weeks is okay sorry so uh, okay interesting question uh, so is explicit words allowed in the game like in some pc games so uh, i i suggest no i i actually say no uh, do not use uh, explicit words uh, there may be some pc games what what we're trying here is to let you know the globe user it could be uh, adults could be you know uh, senior citizens uh, could be a whole family using it so because it's a really noble cause uh, we would like you to not use explicit words please Yeah, yeah, Abhishek. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I think that's an interesting question, right? And um, I, I think some of them are actually part of game playing. But what I suggest, right? I, I will not put a restriction here, but uh, your game is going to go places, right? The uh, the ones which are going to be developed and all, they're going to be recognized by US consulate. They're going to be like uh, go gone live in big forums and all. right so that there is some amount of respectability involved in this exercise uh, and and you are actually making a difference here as well so i i would not put a restriction there but i would want you to be cognizant of this uh, small small uh, uh, things right so that that will help you to steer it better makes sense makes sense, makes sense. so can we use a uh, free and paid assets so from what i understand i would suggest uh, you you may you are free to use any assets that you want i i i would say uh, but i don't think that your assets will be reimbursed by uh, for now you will get to use paid assets maybe in future uh, with the with the funding and uh, everything but i'll again uh, i think abhishek is better one to answer this yeah so that that uh, you you put it correctly right i think during gameathon phase I, i think all the software and stuff that you use you can choose that that your own expense right or mostly i think freeware whatever you have or you have licenses use that so once we select the games then we can help you out uh, with the development right whatever if whatever costs are needed and also that 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 is planned but uh, during the hackathon i i think be sensible about the costs and all okay yeah exactly makes sense cool um yeah so we'll wait for one more minute if there are any questions coming up if not then uh, i think we'll conclude this it's been really nice i love the questions and uh, i see that you guys are really excited for this so amazing man uh for any questions that you may have you can reach out to me on this email or slack is the best way of course email i'll respond to you but uh, slack is the best way because it's not only me but you will get to interact with all of the peers you know uh, the organizers uh, everyone from the angel hack team who is uh, coordinating this event uh, the mentors will also be there so do not limit yourself to this email id if there's some uh, no you still need to do it 
but uh, slack is you know specifically made to interact with uh, everyone in the who is participating in this so awesome cool um yeah so I highly encourage you to uh, attend the 12th event. I think oh, yeah. we'll see some more uh, very, very important guests on that day. And you will get a more clearer perspective right, in any questions. And also, I highly encourage you to attend the opening ceremony on 12th uh, and, and see you guys there. Awesome. OK. Uh, I think I think that's kind of also well, one more question. How many participants till now? Many? Uh, yeah, there's there's many participants, so there's no lack of people with different kind of skills that you will face. There's tons of participants that you will find uh, with different skill sets from different backgrounds, from different uh, you know locations in India with different interests. So uh, uh, definitely not an issue. You'll find enough of uh, you know uh, uh, minds that think differently and can collaborate on a single project. So mm, yeah, um, Abhishek. Uh, any closing words you want to say? I think we're, we're good here. Yeah, I, as, as I started with, right, I want to end that, okay, you guys are great and you are making a difference by doing this and, and best of luck for uh, to all of you. Looking forward to an engaging uh, uh, hackathon. Cool. Awesome. Thanks a lot, everyone, for joining. And we're looking forward to have you participate on 12th and then start coding on 12th and then submit by 12th of March and then let's as abhishek said make a difference in how we are facing this pandemic so bye bye uh, have a good evening have a good night bye guys